Don't say that it crunches. My brother is trying to make cookies with no baking experience and no recipe. How how's that going for you, man? My hands are in the bowl of butter and egg. I don't know if the egg I put the I to to melt the butter. I sort of it's looking better now. Kind it looks better. It looks a lot better already. I accidentally put the vanilla egg extract in the dry ingredients, and I put the white sugar in the dry ingredients. But don't worry, I put brown sugar into the wet ingredients. No recipe. Also, it's bread flour instead of normal flour. And I put cinnamon to make it better. These are going to be chocolate chip cookies. He used to say when mom would have us make boxed brownies that he couldn't understand the recipe on the back of the brownie box. (laughs) And I always thought that he was lying to get out of having to make brownies with me. But I'm starting to think he's telling the truth. It's definitely melted butter and some parts are like kind of solid butter. I have to squish with my hands. Or egg. It might be egg scrambled a little bit. He forgot that butter was something that you needed to have in cookies. I didn't forget. I used to know how much butter. So I I, I mixed the wet and dry ingredients. There's the batter. It's sort of... It's called a dough when it's a cookie. It's sort of... It breaks apart really easy, I've noticed. It doesn't really... It's actually not... It doesn't look terrible. (sighs) So, I use no instructions. But the process was... I don't necessarily know what everything does. I put a lot of chocolate chips, but some areas doesn't look like there are any, but I'm done mashing. That's always how it is with chocolate chip cookies. Don't worry about it. Ugh. All right. I'm not going to chill this. I'm just going to pee- preheat the oven. You're only going to make one. Cookie. I'm not going to chill this. I'm just going to pee. I'm just going to go pee. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to go pee and think about what I've done. One cookie... And you know you can eat this because the eggs are cooked already, so you can eat this without any tw- chance of salmonella. No E. coli from the flour. It's bread flour. The bread flour still has E. coli. I'm recording now. I'm. I, they're finished. I made it, but uh, oh, those look beautiful. She put on some sugar on top of them to see. They didn't really flatten out. I noticed they're the exact same shape. They look when I started, beautiful. But I have some cinnamon icing. Okay. Right. I... That one has a bunch of sugar on top of it that did not melt. <laughs> so. Yeah. Attempts so were made to salvage. Um, a little bit. Questionable attempts. Ooh, hot. Toasty. Toasty warm. Ouch. Ouch. Hey! It has... Yeah, this is a scone. <laughs> yeah, it's... I made scones. You made scones. Mm-hmm. Now, very flowery scones. I mean, that's like more, that's what a scone is. Nope. They're more flowery than your average scone. But these are just scones. And less buttery. <laughs> They're less buttery. But hey! <laughs> it I is, thought these were going to be inedible. It is a food item. These are edible. Good old St. Nick won't die eating these. <laughs> we're not living with the fan. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Can't stop me. Give the people your, your 10 out of 10 rating. For effort made, 10 out of 10. <laughs> For talent involved, not using anything and, and to make somehow make scones, which I feel like it's probably harder to make. You're out of time. 